What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE-34669-8. So this is an odd error code that's been coming up with a lot of people's PlayStation 4, and I've had to kind of like do a lot of research into like kind of how to resolve this. So what essentially this one is, is um, as you see like let's just say Hollow Knight over here, hopefully my thumbnail has this picture and I can find it, <laughs> is you see the corrupted file over here. And when you try to like even delete that game or that corrupted file, that error pops up. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> I can't even delete the corrupted file. So it's a weird error code where like certain games, like where it's just straight up getting corrupted and it's the system software itself. You can kind of try going into the safe one and rebuilding database because you know, that's supposed to help fix corrupted data. But that's not going to help. You can try it. I would recommend you to obviously try that. But the first thing I will personally recommend is make sure you have the latest system software update. You can kind of ensure that by going into settings, hovering all the way down to oops, sorry, system software update, and just making sure you have the latest system software update over here. If you do not obviously do it, oops, apologies, uh, just do it, then kind of come back and see if you can delete the game then. If not, restart your PlayStation 4, I know it sounds silly, and then try to delete the game. There's a possibility that at that mo point in time it's not letting you, and then after that you can. If that still doesn't work, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go into power, you're going to completely turn off your PlayStation 4, and you're going to enter into safe mode. This is where you were already kind of rebuilding the database, and this is where you're going to kind of help fix said issue. And I'm going to kind of like walk you through how to do those steps on how to fix those issues. Um, just to keep a FYI in mind, uh, one of the final steps that I'm going to mention is going to delete everything off of your PlayStation 4 because like I said, this is a software corruption or like a hard drive corruption itself where you can't rebuild the database to fix it. You might have to like completely wipe it, clean fresh start to kind of fix it. But um, as it, let's see, yep, PlayStation 4 is completely turned off. So the way you get into safe mode is you hold on to the power button for about 8 to 10 seconds until you hear two beeps. My PlayStation 4 sucks. You don't hear any beep at all. It's old, it's dying, so eh, whatever. Uh, I kind of guesstimate in my head when 8 to 10 seconds have passed and I let go. Uh, so let's see, yep, I did it right. Uh, so to be able to navigate in the uh, safe mode, you need a USB cable plugged into your DualShock 4. Uh, make sure it's an authentic wire, otherwise it's not going to work. You press the PlayStation button and boom, you're in here. Uh, the analog sticks don't work, you have to use the D-pad. Now, like I said, you can try step number five. If this doesn't work for you, I would recommend you, before deleting everything, Go into step number three and do update using internet. Even if you have the latest system software update, you can actually still reinstall it again. And this might actually help fix your issue doing it from here. And if you don't want to do it from this method, you can still do it from USB drive itself, which is probably the best and safest method. I have a video on this. I'll leave it in the description below. It's basically where you download the, the update file directly from Sony's website, put it in a USB and boom, plug it into your PlayStation 4 and update it via that method. That should help fix a lot of issues that you're having now let's just say you've already tried that what you're gonna sadly have to do is step number six or seven step number six is going to delete everything off of your PlayStation 4 as you will see over here it says all user data will be deleted and essentially like your save file your games everything's gonna get deleted so you might want to back up your PlayStation 4 or you might want to like kind of like do something before <laughs> you do that or try other methods. If obviously step number six didn't work, you can try step number seven. That's the same thing, but except you do it via USB and it'll tell you essentially how to do it. You can download it same way as my other video. I, I believe I have a video for that. I'll leave it in the description as well. You download the latest uh, update basically for initialization. You put it in a USB, you plug it in and boom, you let it read it and then you delete everything off of it. That gives you the best, freshest, cleanest refresh essentially and then hopefully that error kind of goes away essentially it will because everything will be deleted and you can re-download the game and then try and play it again um so yeah that's basically what you're gonna have to do to make that error go away <laughs> i uh hopefully you can try the other methods that i mentioned first before trying step number six or seven so yeah um if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button helps a lot if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that we're coming out peace